Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a crazy long time since I posted here on my channel. It's been like a month, but you know, with school and work and just all the responsibilities that I have, I've kind of just been MIA and kind of just taking a breather from YouTube and kind of just focusing on schoolwork because college is not cheap, guys. Like, I'm too poor to fail. But the term is ending pretty soon in a couple weeks, so I am going to be back and more creative as ever with tutorials so I decided to kick off with a spring going into summer kind of makeup theme for you guys I want to do something very bronzy and glowy and as far as eyeshadows I wanted something that screams summer so for me that was a lot of oranges so I just really wanted to play with orange I think it's a color that I haven't played with here on my channel and I really wanted to give it a shot so this is just a really simple fast um, eye makeup tutorial and you won't be surprised that it's literally two eyeshadows and there's really no technique to it so you only need one brush technically and it's just lashes and then your brows and then just lips and then just glowy glow everything you gotta glow for the heavens glow for the gods you know so that is what I want to do for today's tutorial, but I hope you guys like it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a big like and subscribe to my channel. I will link all the products I use down below in the description box so you guys can check it out in case you missed something. And I'll also list all the links to my social media so you guys can check me out and follow me and interact with me. And yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into the tutorial. Let's go. Well, hello there. As always, you guys already know that I already primed my eyes off camera. We're ready to jump into shadows. So, with that being said, I'm gonna glab, glab, glab. I'm gonna grab a blending brush and I'm gonna be going in with a Modern Renaissance palette. You guys know this is one of my all-time favorite palettes just because it is so nice and warm tone with a lot of the reds and the oranges. So, I think I am gonna be playing along with the more like orangey, bronzy tones. So, I'm kind of feeling like playing with Rhaegar right here. I definitely want to do something with this orange shadow just because it is so vibrant and to me that screams summer. So, but before we do that, I'm going to be going in with Burnt Orange, which is this shade right here. And we're going to be taking that and putting that as a transition shade in our crease. I'm just going to be putting this all over the lid as well as into the crease. This term has been crazy. Like, I took two online classes for this term, and let me tell you, I thought it was going to be a little easier because I wouldn't have to commute to work and then go to school, like on campus, but it is just, I don't know what it is, but it's been so difficult to keep up with like all the homework. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. I didn't think it was going to be that hard, but anyways, I'm going to be grabbing, 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 Hmm. I'm going to be grabbing a clean brush and I'm just going to be blending the edges right here just to make sure it's nice and diffused and not so harsh. But like I was saying, this term, oh my god, it has been crazy. I I don't know what it is. I think it's because I'm balancing work and school like I do every year, but for some reason, just not having to go on campus and just staying at home and doing work, it's just a lot harder for me. Like I sit there and I look at the lecture slides and it's literally like 120 slides for my uh, psychology behavioral neuroscience class and I'm just like oh my god like I just look at it and I'm like I go cross-eyed guys I don't know what it is like I think I'm just more like when it comes to science classes I just need to be in class I guess to take these because I don't know doing 120 plus slides on my own takes me about I'd probably say like three, four hours just because I lollygag on and off. Like I'll focus for like an hour and then I'll goof off for like 30 to 40 minutes and then I'll try and get back into it and it just like repeats the process. But oh my god, it's been difficult guys. <laughs> so I've been struggling so that's why I've been kind of taking a break from taking a break from just doing tutorials in general. Alright so now that we have that, you know what, I'm just gonna be going in with the same brush that I've been using and I'm gonna be going into the shade Rhaegar which is the one I told you I wanted to use this bright orange and I'm just gonna repeat the same process going all over the lid and all over up in the crease now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be taking tempera which is this shimmery kind of satiny um, bone color with a little bit of a peach undertone 
And I'm going to be taking that on a brush and I'm just going to be cleaning up under the brow. Kind of highlight it and then kind of blend where um, Rhaegar is meeting it so that way it kind of has a nice transition. I'm just kind of toning down this orange so I'm just going to make it a little bit more subtle. Alright, now that we have that, I'm going to be taking a small little uh, dual-ended brush. This one is from the palette, the Anastasia palette, and I'm going to be taking the short shader side, and I'm going to be dipping into Cypress Umber, which is this dark brown right here, and I'm going to be running this on my lash line just to smoke it out a little bit and give a little bit extra definition so that when I put my fake lashes on, it kind of hides the lash band a little bit, helps it to blend easier. And I'm just going to take the other side of the brush, the more fluffy crease brush side, and I'm just going to blend this right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an eyeliner, and I take a black liner, and I'm just going to line my tight line right here. I'm going to go back in with the Cypress Umber shade on that same brush that we used to line um, the lash line, and I'm just going to kind of go over that black. Alright, and I am going to just hop off camera, put some mascara on, and put some false lashes on. Um, for lashes today, I'm going to be using the Salon Perfect 614 lashes. You guys know these are my go-tos. I wear them every single day. Don't look too close to the box because it looks disgusting from all the glue. But I'm just going to pop off camera and put these on, and I'll be right back, and we're going to do the face. Okay. I'm finally back. So we're just gonna jump into foundation. So I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and this is in the color 128 Warm Nude. So I'm just gonna be applying this, give it a good shake first. We have the foundation all nice and blended. I'm gonna be going in with the NYX Concealer in Porcelain. It's the one that I used to set my eyes. You guys have seen this a ton on my channel. For powder, I'm going to be using two of them. I'm going to be using the Airspun Translucent Powder and then I'm going to be using the NYC Smooth Skin Powder. So I'm going to be combining these two and I'm going to set my panda eyes. I'm also going to set my nose like heavily because this is like the first place that my concealer likes to move around so I'm going to make sure that it does not. Alright so while my nose and my chin is baking basically, it's so weird because I don't bake under my eyes but I will bake my nose. So we're just going to be going in with bronzer, um, I'm going to be using my all time favorite, the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. so funny because I'm actually supposed to be doing my uh, my lectures and reading but I'm instead sitting on my floor filming for you guys because I just can't be bothered to do the lecture because it just takes so freaking long and I can't be bothered with it so, so I'm just gonna bronze up this forehead I'm really using bronzer today no shame in my game Bronze up a little bit on the chin. Then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush that has no product and just kind of blend the bronzer so it's not so harsh and it's nicely blended. So for blush today, I'm going to be going in with the Physicians Formula. What are you? Argan Wear Ultra Nourishing Argan Oil Blush in the color Natural, which is this one. It's just really nice. Like, it's a nice. And the design is so cute, and it's not, it's more like a satiny blush. It's not shimmery, and it's not matte, it's kind of satiny. So I'm going to be taking that on a little blush brush that I actually broke just yesterday. If you saw my um, tutorial on Instagram, you knew that this brush actually broke, like the handle literally came off, and I was so sad, but it, it can go back in. But anyways, I'm just going to take some blush. And I'm going to be putting this right on the apples of my cheeks. So pretty. And then I'm just going to go back in with that. Oh, my Lanta! I just spilled powder. The powder that was in the cap just spilled. Okay. Okay. No use in crying over spilt powder. 
But I'm gonna take the blush. Br I'm gonna take the brush, and I'm just gonna blend. get into the highlighting portion that you guys know I love so much we're just gonna finish the eyes real quick so so I'm gonna start off going with um, burnt orange which was the first shade we used and I'm just gonna start smoking out the bottom wash line I'm gonna be going in with Rhaegar on a wet and wild uh, crease brush it's kind of like the more compact dense uh, fluffy brush and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of Rhaegar and I'm gonna be running this right here 